This interview is for information only and should not be considered as investment advice or a recommendation to buy shares in the company featured. Welcome to this stock box interview. Joining us today is Tony Hamilton, the CEO of Georgina Energy. Following the official completion of the RTO and the trading of the company shares on the LSE. Well, thank you very much for joining us, Tony. How are you? A momentous day for Georgina. Uh, thanks, Mark. Yes, uh, very pleased. It's been five years of really hard work and uh, some challenges. Uh, I will say that uh, the FCA, the LSE absolutely worked themselves and uh, helped us a great deal uh, because we are in fact i believe the first prospectus to be issued under the new rules that they recently announced okay okay excellent well i know we've talked before about the plans where you've raised five million pounds you've got a fully costed drilling program to re-enter wells by december of this year where you're expecting to encounter and produce helium and hydrogen. So now you can finally get on with the, the job in hand. I mean, how soon do you want to hit the ground running? So our target has been to re-enter in December, uh, Hussar, which is our primary target. Um, and then obviously we're funded for that, as well as funded for the work required to bring Mount Winter to EP status. Okay, and that's in December. So what will you be working on between now and then? Uh, expect a lot of work. So primarily we're working on upgrading our environmental impact study, uh, completing some additional preparatory work, uh, letting contracts for the drill rigs, uh, undertaking some advanced work on the re-entry program and all the costings, as well as completing a full application to DEMAS, which is the Australian regulatory group, so that we can obtain a drilling permit. Um, so, yeah. So all of these things have to be in place before you can drill, but you're expecting that timeline to be drilling in the December of this year? Where it, we expect, subject to everything going according to plan, to be um, re-entering the well sometime in December. I mean, one of the biggest impediments would all, has always been the native title land access agreements but we executed that in february of this year so um no we've it's primarily a lot of um planning and applications and processes a lot of which is already in hand okay okay so in terms of what the market can expect news flow wise i'm guessing we can start to see some of these official or more formal procedural matters be announced to the market um not incurring a, a huge huge lot of cost for the company until you actually start that drilling program in december correct and and it's so georgina has a lot of ongoing work that it's doing um which which essentially stopped so that we didn't compromise the CPR, and now that work will re restart. So you can expect a lot of very significant uh, information being released between now and December. Okay, excellent. Well, thank you very much, Tony. It's good that you finally got the uh, the Archer away. I know we spoke, yeah, I think we spoke maybe two years ago as this was still a, a process that was ongoing. And of course, as you say, things do get stalled as you're going through that prospectus process. But you've done it now. You've got the funds. It's unlocked. You're on the market. I'm looking forward to seeing some of that news flow and, of course, leading up to uh, the drilling and re-entering of that well, as you say. But for now, thank you very much, Tony Hamilton, the CEO of Georgian Energy, for your time. Thank you, Mark. And uh, yes, very much enjoyed the ceremony and ringing the bell at the LSE. If you enjoyed this interview, then give us a thumbs up, a like or a retweet. Subscribe to us on YouTube or follow us on Twitter and hit that notification bell to be the first to know when we release new content. There's loads of great content on our website too, across all our programs at stockboxmedia.com. Thank you for watching.